Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. The juice is flowing, and now this. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Oh, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And that gets things running. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, a player who's learned fast for me is Luke Shaw, a fullback who likes to involve himself in matters at the offensive end of the pitch, but he covers the ground with speed and, and a good work ethic, so I think he's coming on really well. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Miller gets it away. Sterling. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Now it's Kane. It's Kane! Winter is there to heave it away. Out to the left it goes. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Well, that's where he wants it. Muller. Hoists it forward. Plays it through. Sané. Aimed in towards the centre. Shapes the shoot! He's pulled off a fine save. Muller sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Sterling. Oh, 
Mohamed Gundogan. Volleyed effort. Listen, I'm not sure he had to go at that first time, but at least he showed some good confidence. It is still nil-nil. Still a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Maguire. Shaw. Maguire. And here's Sterling. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Muller. Muller spreads it towards the left. Muller. Kimmich. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Gundogan tries to head towards goal. Just whacks it away. Sure. Not long till half time, and it is still goalless. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. He's found his man. Big chance! They've scored! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half-time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It's all very well drilled. Germany get themselves into the lead. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Place it over to the other flank. James. Rice. And it's Sterling. And here's Kane. It's Kane! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. England really putting it... And we hit half-time. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. And the second half gets on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Shot a goal! It's in! Two up now, and they are cruising. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot.
So that's two now without reply. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. England have a free kick. Stones. Rice. That's great strength on the ball. Sterling. Rice. A really good feat. There's the ball, it's towering header! Well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He knew what was coming, that's a yellow card. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. Could be thinking about a shot. Kane! He's done very well to get to that. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Played it short. Cut out in the nick of time. And it's Sane. Sane plays it out to the wing. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Gundogan. Rice. And it's played forward. Saka. James. Finds him. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Gets a ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Shaw. Sterling. Looks to clip it forward. And it's hoisted clear. Come loose. Rice. He's good for it. Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed.
Maguire. Germany still 2-0 up and looking now to see it through. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Ginter. Muller gets it out to the wing. Sané. Pope can pick that up. James. Over to the left. Shaw receives it in a wide position. So who's he picking out? And it's Sterling. Beautifully done. Goes for goal! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Kane. And there goes the final whistle. Germany did it. Terrific team effort to satisfy both the boss and the fans. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Germany can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done.